Hi guys, I'm Shmi and good morning to you from Streetgasm where today, unfortunately, I'm going to be heading in a different direction. I have to visit other places but the rally is ready and getting set to head off early this morning onto the next leg of their adventure. Now today we're going to be taking a look at the other car driving with me that you've been seeing videos from over the last few days, the Rentec AMG GTS. But before we get to the GTS, it is time for this morning's adventure to get started. Cars lined up, ready to start rolling out today, as you can see. So we'll see some of the action before we check out the GTS and take a look at it in a little bit more detail. I think that car is owed a video. So let's take a look at what's going on. Then it's Rentec time. <laughs> that timing, right? <laughs> Well, the cars have all departed, which means it's time now to take a proper look at the second car that's been driving as part of our team on Streetgasm, the Rentec AMG GTS. Now, there's a lot to talk about, both in terms of the modifications under the hood, also in terms of the exterior. So let's start with the power. It's up to 620 horsepower, 626 PS, which is up from the standard 510 from the 4-liter twin-turbocharged V8 that you find up here. Rear-driven, of course, seven-speed double-clutch gearbox. But on the cosmetic side, well, the first thing you might notice on this car finished in the stealthy sort of satin gray is the wheels, larger Rentec 20 and 20 one inch at the rear wheels. Around the front, you've got the new carbon fiber front splitter um, and sort of aero intake. So it's one piece around here to get more cooling in through the front radiators. Uh, more of the airflow around the side of the car. New side skirts as well. Now the base car for this is the edition one version of the AMG GT. So carbon fiber roof uh, as an option on there as well. And then around the back, you continue the aerodynamics with the rear wing. So this large rear wing that just sort of hangs out around the side, giving it a little bit more um, aero, whereas the standard kind of edition one wing is quite small in the center. So not particularly useful. And that operates here on a uh, adjustable system, different wing angles, depending how you want it set up. Again, on top of a carbon fiber base plate that replaces the original. Then down at the uh, lower side of the rear here, you also have a new diffuser and uh, a new exhaust system is going to be going on this car shortly too. So visually, AMG GT, a car we like the look of an awful lot, two-seater coupe format, long front bonnet. But there's another thing to show you as well on the inside. In here then, you will find two things. The first is the bucket seats. So Rentec have a solution to install bucket seats into the AMG GTS instead of the normal seats or the performance AMG seats as well as the roll cage back there so that you can also have the four point harnesses. And if I come round to the rear here um, and pop open uh, the boot, just hold the button um, and lift this up, you can see the cage back here, which is mounted obviously directly through, gives you the mount points for the harnesses and makes it more appropriate for racing um, and track use. So this car does a lot of testing at the uh, Nürburgring and in particular, for example, Rentex um, development car can run a little bit more power, it has new turbos and things, but this is a, uh, an upgrade to standard engine, shall we say. So, let me just close up this door and come around um, and jump into the driver's seat. Take a seat in the Recaro's here. It should still be open. Um, step in. Familiar interior. I've driven the uh, GTS before, the GT and the AMG GTR, so we're used to this kind of wide layout um, in the inside, but it's a nice sort of feel, Grand Tourist style, uh, large format, engine start button right here. And the V8 comes into life. Now for me, one of the uh, kind of interesting things is how this 
um, compares, I guess, to the AMG GTR. Uh, it's obviously slightly more powerful at 620 instead of 585. Um, so, but, uh, and weight is pretty similar to uh, the standard GTR. Didn't actually shave too much weight off the original car. But that's a look around the interior. Let's um, take it out now on the road. One of the beautiful things about the AMG GTS, and obviously this applies to the Rentec version as well, is that it's such a gentle and easy car to just jump in and drive. It's a Mercedes, it pulls away brilliantly, it's just relaxing, you have all the different drive modes, so I've got it in comfort, we can put it up into Sport or Sport Plus. I'm also gonna say, by the way, that these bucket seats are really rather comfortable. Um, the Recaro seats, we know them, we love them. Obviously, they're branded up with the Rentec embroidery on the headrest, but I feel very, very comfortable in here. The Alcantara steering wheel as well, of course, a nice sort of thing to be holding. It's just an all-round very nice place to be, even when you've literally just jumped inside the car. So you've got the regular um, AMG GT line that's now got a little bit confusing with how many different models there are. You've got the GT, the GTS, then the GTC, then the GTR, and increasing horsepower levels from in the 400s up to nearly 600. This though, like we said, 620 horsepower, 626 PS. So the number starts a little bit higher even than the GTR, which is clearly quite an impressive sort of level. I couldn't tell you the exact performance numbers, but expect it to be pretty much on the quick end. So driving along, it's easy, it's gentle, it's comfortable, steering very GT-like, that front engine setup, nothing crazy here, although I am gonna just point out the view beside me, which is quite frankly breathtaking as we drive around Lake Como in Italy. But taking it nice and gentle and easy at the moment, I'm gonna pop it up into Sport, and then straight into Sport Plus mode, which on these cars is pretty much my favorite setup, and you can independently do the gearbox into manual uh, with the button on the other side, or you can use the individual mode, set it up kind of how you want but blip it down a little bit. Get some of those burbles going on from the V8. And it sounds good, it sounds really good. Like this car, even when you just give it a little tap, to sort of open up the exhaust a tiny bit like that. Yeah, not bad, hey? And then when you downshift, you get those crackles. It's just great, it's just absolutely great. So, pushing on. There's nothing sort of unusual or untoward going on in here. <laughs> and I can imagine for doing a trip like this, it is a wonderful, wonderful machine. I mean, that's partly sort of why I've got it for the AMG GTR. But what this does is take or open up the opportunity for existing GT owners, GTS owners, uh, or those interested in looking at a used car to create something with a little bit more power, with a little bit more oomph, with a little bit more go, and we've seen it up over 310, I think up to 316 kilometers an hour during street gas, and which is clearly quite a solid number. Anyway, let's see if we can find a, a tunnel or a slightly more open road. The turning is brilliant, it feels so planted. I mean, the GT has been sort of famed for quite how good it is to drive, and this is definitely no exception right now. Just going in, throw it in, point the wheel, around you go. The front just sort of sticks down and in, obviously a little bit more downforce, not that you can really use it at this kind of speed. You need to be going substantially quicker. Uh, we don't necessarily have the opportunity for that right in a second, but it does feel good. So, whoa, you can feel the power. It is not short on power, but I just drop it down to first gear and just sort of put my foot down here, up to the red light. Look, it would help if I lifted off it, but it gets there very, very quickly, up to about 7,000 RPM. Um, and as you saw, bang straight into it. So you do kind of have to give it a slightly early upshift or just be prepared for how quickly it's gonna rev up. Um, so that's quite a sort of, well, an exhilarating feeling. I suppose I was taken a little bit by surprise there by quite how much go it had, um, which is definitely a good thing. It, it does just take off and go. Obviously you've got that front engine style kind of pick up towards the front as the engine does its thing, but there is, not a shortage of power and it's quite an interesting one to consider this versus GTR um, obviously this comes in at the lower price point than, a, than an AMG GTR does and it has slightly more sort of uniqueness to it in the sense of the styling of the Rentec side of things rather than the standard for, uh, production factory car but driving it has been an awful lot of fun let's head back and uh, take another last little look around and wrap things up sound is good. The sound is so good. Just constant V8 grumble. And then the downshifts. 
that noise on downshift. And we're back then. So one other thing I want to add is that this specification for the GTS is obviously not the track spec. You wouldn't have wheels this large and obviously you'd be running on different tires if you were driving it around a racetrack. But this has been a spec used for this trip, for the road trip, for using it like a GT car. And even though it's obviously very track focused with the buckets, with the cage, with the harnesses, it is also a very good car to drive out and about on the roads, to drive gently, to enjoy, to experience the noise, but know what it's also capable of. So I've quite enjoyed this actually having a go in the Rentec GTS. I've been missing that during the uh, during the tour, dr during Street Gasm while I've been driving in my FF that is lurking over there. But a big thanks to Rentec for joining us, for allowing us to use the car during this trip. It's been uh, awesome and I hope you've enjoyed a kind of little insight, little impressions of what this car is actually like. So I'm gonna wrap this one up there. Thank you very much for watching guys. Make sure you're subscribed, stay tuned because there is plenty more coming your way. That's it for now. I'll catch up with you again very soon. Cheers.